Today we have a little bit different of a project going on. My church has a large music library that is used for solos, and duets, ensembles, instruments, choirs, things like that. And it's all in here and it's beautifully organized. There's a wonderful binder with a catalog of everything sorted by part. It's really well done. The problem here is, is that since it was last organized, the collection has grown and the things that have been added to haven't necessarily been added to the current system, meaning that we have this shelf alphabetized, but we also have this bucket, this bucket, this bucket. So knowing where things are is a very different matter to knowing what we have. My plan with this is that keep the catalog. The catalog is absolutely beautiful. It's through a Google spreadsheet, so it's easy to access, easy to change, easy to add to. The plan is we are going to be taking each section of music and putting it inside of a manila folder and then labeling the manila folder with both the title and the composer or who arranged it and then putting them in magazine holders. The idea is that you give each piece of music a numerical value like one, two, three, four, five, and then in your catalog, you list its number next to its title. Then when you're looking for the music, you just have to look for the number. That way, things don't need to be re-alphabetized every time you add new music to the collection. And when you get a new piece of music, you add it to the catalog where it can be sorted alphabetically by part, by holiday, whatever, and then you just add it to the next number available. So it's easy to add to, which seems to be what we need at the church right now. Now that kind of a system works really great at a collegiate level where those choosing the music or programming concerts know every single piece and arrangement by heart. Here, we have a lot of different people filling a lot of different music roles in the building, and we still want to maintain some sort of browsability of it where you can come and look through and find what you need. So as sort of a compromise, I'm going to be having each shelf be a different part structure for music. We'll have solo, duets, women's, men's, three-part or SAB, and then four-part SATB. And they'll each have their own section on the shelves. So if I have a women's choir or I want a women musical number, I would come to this section and it would still be numerical order. Each one would still have a numerical value assigned to it to be easily findable from the catalog, but it would also be browsable to find what you need for your musical number. So the plan for today, step one, is I got some of those manila folders. We're going to go ahead and start putting these inside and labeling those up and hopefully we'll get a solution on magazine holders quite soon. So let's get this going. Yesterday I was able to make pretty good progress. I got this entire bin done and about two thirds of this bin done. And the back is just these empty hanging folders and the front is what I have left to do. Up here I've kind of been sorting a little bit so I have some men's over here, two part, three part, four part, and then just like super fancy five, six, seven part, same like bell choirs and stuff, a compliment. So hopefully today we'll be able to finish out this bucket and get this bin all done. Yesterday I watched Frozen 2 while I was sorting, which was fun. Of course I cried during Anna's song because like, how can you not? 
Uh, today I'm gonna try watching Carousel, the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. So let's get going. Day three of organization. I have most of these buckets that were here. All of those have been sorted and labeled and put into their manila folders. So now I'm going to be going through this shelf. The goal today is to get everything into a manila envelope because I have the magazine holders coming tomorrow. And then once that's done, everything should look beautiful. Then the final step will be assigning a number to everything and then getting everything updated in the online catalog. So here we go. start the final organization process of all of these songs. Most of all of the songs are in their files, all ready to go and labeled. There's a few orchestration parts that are all separated. I have to go through and investigate what pieces they belong with, but that'll be fun. The goal for today is to get everything sorted within their section, put magazine folders labeled, and I also have access to the online catalog now. The pre-existing catalog has been very useful. You can see that each sheet designates a different voicing, a different instrument, or a different holiday, which is great for people browsing. I am worried though that there's going to be duplicates between the voicing and the holiday sections, so I am going to be combining all of these into one sheet where we can use filters at the top to sort for what people are looking for. Hopefully this will be user friendly, hopefully it will still be browsable but hopefully we'll also be efficient in keeping everything separated. show you what it looks like in the final version, let's just take a second to remind ourselves what it used to look like. Different methods of storing the music definitely took its toll on the aesthetically pleasing nature of this, 
but also made it difficult to find anything, period. Now you can see that everything is clearly labeled, uniform in appearance. There is a bucket for each church group that meets in the building, as well as a more organized lost and found section on the bottom. The top row is going to be specifically reserved for old hymnals that are phased out of use, but we can still keep and use for musical numbers. Overall, I am completely thrilled with how this turned out. I love how functional it is and how browsable it is. I love that it fits the needs that we have and will continue working for us for hopefully years to come. Thank you for watching this video with me. I hope that it gave you some inspiration for organizing your own music library. Please let me know your favorite method of organizing music in the comments below.